feeling that now, ouch. So we're here with the attack sense targets. This one is a medium. They also have a small, which is about the size of this square here. They also have the large that you can see over there. Let's see if I can make that one flash. Is that flashing? Oh, you that's the one at the very back. Let's try that one. There you go. Now, unfortunately, what I didn't bring were weights to weight down the targets. So um, the wind decided it didn't want the target to be stood up. The target is no longer stood up. I don't know if I mentioned this is Longbow, um, their new site out in Essex, their new shop. Definitely come out and uh, check them out. And they have this field out the back so that they can test in and they've thankfully let me just come and do some, some shooting. Okay, so that's two joules on the money, 328 feet per second. Again, 328. 328 again, really? 327. Wow, this is incredibly consistent. I am sat 70 meters away from the furthest target right at the back. And uh, we are going to be doing a sniper test today. We are going to do a mode called approach. The targets light up in succession from the furthest to the closest simulating somebody going towards you. The attack sense targets allow me uh, to understand when I've hit something because it not only flashes with the, the lights that like you can see there, um, not only does it flash, but it also makes a noise. So I don't have to visually see the BB hit the target, I get an audible acknowledgement that it's done so. I've set the level to level three. I've tried it before at my own level, um, which is level seven, and I can't, can't even get the BB there quick enough. So I've definitely uh, dropped it down to level three for the time being, and that should give us enough time for the flight of the BB to reach um, the target, at least. Let's give it a go, right. Here we go, Ta uh, round, round starts. This is quite... Oh, I got him. That's close. Oh, so I completed it. It wasn't easy, and it was definitely going in different a different sequence. Uh, I hit five out of ten, apparently. Ah, uh, okay. I see. So what I thought was one long string was actually several different pathways, and they didn't come all the way. The conditions are overcast. It's a little bit windy. This is an open field. Uh, so there is a bit of wind catching the BBs as they end their flight. Oh, it's, it's, oh, stressful. It is definitely stressful. I really like it. And actually, you notice as, as I was progressing through, that charging got faster and faster. And I started taking, because the wind is taking it left, right, and center anyway, um, you end up trying to play more quickly and judge in a you know more in a fraction more of a second fraction less of a second uh, and taking the shots because you need the flight time to be as uh, quick as as quick as possible. You'd rather take a shot that is going to get there and uh, fingers crossed it's going to hit. It's oh, it's super interesting. I love I love playing this. This is great. This is really, really great. Okay, we've reached the end of the shooting day because targets are running out of battery, uh, cameras are running out of battery, I'm running out of ammo, 
There's a car that's going to drive in shot. This is going to be an interesting. Uh, we're going to have to have to chat with him. Luckily, I got Jason here to talk to the people that are going to drive up past the targets. The targets. I'm going to have to run. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine.